Here are stories making news at this hour. I'm Roseanne Teus. A warning for anyone who connects to the red and blue lines underground. Chicago police say CTA riders are being robbed, sometimes at gunpoint in the tunnels. Susanna Song has the story. It's frightening. It's, you know, I don't know what's going on in the city, but things are just getting, it's very scary. Four of the five suspects are shown here in these surveillance photos. Chicago police say they surround the victim, flash a gun, kick and punch the victim, then take their valuables. The armed men took a designer belt, a cell phone and wallets. That's terrifying. Even a couple of weeks ago, we had a man approach us, spit on us, push us. It was at a different blue line stop, so I would love to see something change on the CTA security or more cops, more cops maybe. I don't know, but yeah, it's kind of scary sometimes. The assaults and robberies happened in the pedestrian tunnel connecting the red and blue lines at Monroe and Jackson. Most recently, the group got away last Tuesday morning and Wednesday night. I'm not that nervous. I see a lot of cops around the CTA, so I'll keep an alert, uh, eye out, but I'm not really too worried about it. Today is D-Day for dibs. The city is warning residents to get that stuff out of the street, the stuff that you had holding your parking spot. Here is Derek Young. All right, everyone, this is Dibs D-Day. It's got to go today. So even though it's a holiday, we haven't had a snowstorm in about a week or so, so the city is expecting everyone to get all of that dib stuff out of the way. If you've got a garbage can holding your spot, if you've got an office chair holding your spot, if you have a piece of office furniture, whatever it might be on the street, today is the day the streets and sand will begin picking that up. So this is your warning. Pick it up, get it out of the way so you can have it ready for your next dibs opportunity or else the city will take it and move it out the way for you. Have a great day. And finally, a flood watch has been issued for Chicago. Meteorologist Megan Glaros has the forecast. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to work and school. If you aren't off today on this holiday, but if you've got the day to play outside, problem is we've got some rain headed our way. In fact, there's a flood watch in effect starting tonight, going all the way through Wednesday at 6 a.m. We can see one to two inches of rain, maybe as much as two to four coming into the mix in some locations. But take a look at these high temperatures, 58 degrees on your Monday, 62 on Wednesday, unfortunately paired with heavy rain and the potential for some thunderstorms. Plus add to that the snow melt that we've got going on out there and we could possibly see some flooding. So heads up on that for the next 48 hours or so. Now by Wednesday, much colder, 38. That's actually still a couple degrees above average, but definitely colder than what we'll have these next two days. Rolling into the weekend, we'll have temperatures into the 40s. Not too bad, a bit above average through most of this week.